I'm here with meteorologist Haley Claussen talking in depth about some of the information in my report, Stadium Shock. Haley, I uncovered that obviously the arena is being built right along the San Andreas fault line, and they're building that stadium specifically with the fault line in mind. But it's also important to realize there are other fault lines here in the Coachella Valley. Exactly. The San Andreas gets talked about the most because it's the biggest, the longest. It's also the one that is always, of course, referenced to who in, in Hollywood. But when we're looking at the fault lines all across Southern California, you can see that there are a lot of fault lines, not only in California, but even right here in Riverside County across the high desert. So plenty of these fault lines are still very active and we continue to see and feel those earthquakes even as recent history. Yeah, there's a lot of them you can see. Mm -hmm. What are some of the areas here in the valley specifically that are most prone to earthquakes? So again, the San Andreas is obviously a very large area that encompasses um, a large portion of Southern California. It cuts right through uh, the Coachella Valley, but also right along our mountains, we have the San Jacinto fault line. And that one, while not as significant of earthquakes, we do see more happen along that fault line. Also down to the south in Imperial County, there's the Brawley seismic zone. That's where we'll see more of our swarms that happen. So not always the most impactful, but certainly more frequent. And of course, even out across the high desert, there's a lot that can happen there. But again, we just don't see them necessarily quite as strong. Yeah, what's some of the history of, of earthquakes? I know they happen very frequently, mm -hmm. but there have been some major ones. Exactly. The, I mean, earthquakes are happening all the time. We just don't always feel them because they're quite small. Mm. But even back in 2019, there was the Ridgecrest earthquake, and that was a 7.1. Now, while that wasn't exactly in the Coachella Valley, that was farther up towards the north near Lone Pine, we still felt it here. And I think that's part of the bigger picture as well, is it doesn't happen have to happen right here for it to impact us. Uh, even farther in the past, back in in 1992, there was the Landers earthquake, which is just north of Yucca Valley, and that was a 7.3. So anybody who is a long-term resident here in the Coachella Valley, they certainly remember that. And that's why it's so important that so many of our buildings, especially major ones like the mm -hmm. arena, are built to code to withstand earthquakes. You know, we hear all this talk about the big one. Mm -hmm. For folks who aren't completely you know, familiar with that. What is the big one and what is the concern for us here in the valley? I mean, we are talking about a major earthquake. We feel earthquakes and I think that runs through the back of everyone's mind of, is this it? Is this the big one? No, we have not experienced that, but like seismologists and geologists always talk about, we are certainly overdue for that earthquake. And I think what's always important to remember is that other areas prepare for different events, right? If you're along the coastline, along the Atlantic, you're preparing for hurricanes. If you live up north, you're preparing for snowstorms. It's our job to prepare for earthquakes because we do have a high probability of experiencing a earthquake right here in our lifetime. Mm, certainly important information. Haley, thanks for joining us.